हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्ते आई होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग ग्रेट आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस ड्रॉ विद मी सेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ टुडे दिस मंडाला ऑन आ सिक्स इंच बाय सिक्स इंच स्क्वायर पेपर एज यू ऑल नो आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड माय को होस्ट अजय इज ऑल्सो हियर विद मी हेलो अजय Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening, depending on where you are. Look forward to work with you today. Yes. And last week I uploaded the video of this mandala, and I got beautiful submissions. You guys did awesome job, and on different platforms, on Instagram, and on Facebook, Discord, I'm getting. lots of submissions of this mandala and you guys are doing awesome beautiful sub who didn't have the brown paper some are using the coffee stains or the tea stains to make the paper brown and some people have already ordered supplies and they are still waiting so uh, don't worry you take your time until your supplies break, uh, come to you and then complete your work the video is available for you for everybody to work along so let's talk about today's art we are going to use the 6 inch square paper black marker pen thick marker pen is absolutely optional we need a pencil for the guidelines compass for some circles ruler and then again pencil and tortillon for the blending I am here using a 6 inch square paper. These are the artist styles which I am using here of the white color. So let's start. I hope everybody is ready. You are still waiting for the supplies for Preet. No worries. Take your time, okay? Because there are a lot of other participants who told me that they are still waiting for the supplies. So I know uh it's absolutely great like uh, you guys are trying and you are buying new supplies to make these uh, mandalas i'm really very happy and you can use those supplies and make your own uh, other designs once you get the idea of how to use those supplies right so i hope everybody is ready now right No problem, Anvita. You can watch the recording any time, whenever you are free. You take your time. The school is first, study is first, and then you can spend your time in your passion later on. Okay, so let's start finding the center of our paper, as we always do, because we are working on a mandala. So. it is a 6 inch square paper so on the top and bottom we are marking at 3 inch marking on 3 inch to the other side here you go so i divided the paper into four equal parts this is the center and now after that i'm going to divide it into four more equal parts so we are going to join the corner to corner we'll keep our pencil in the center we don't want to miss the center while connecting the corners so keep your pen pencil in the center point keep your ruler join it from corners 
this is a small paper so we can easily do like that and we don't need the protector or the helix circle but if you are working on a bigger paper then we should always use the protector or the helix circle and divide it into degrees to get the perfect equal parts and now it's the time for the measurements so as you can see on the screen we are going to mark from the center hello Valerie enjoy your trip so we are marking at 0 0.5 1 2 3 4 5, 6 and 7 centimeters. You can see all the markings on the screen also 0 0.5 and then each centimeter. Now grab your compass. We already have the markings. half centimeter one centimeter two centimeter three four Now I'm waiting for everyone to complete all these guidelines and write down in the chat. Good morning, Linda. Yes, Anvita, I'm waiting. Hello, Eva. Hello, Aditi Kushwaha. Hello Rabjot, hey Arya, I'm waiting. Awesome Prapreet. And now it's the time to grab our pen. Let's see who is drawing along with me right now. Thank you, Shruti. If you are drawing along with me, write down one. Thank you, Jyotsna. And if you are just enjoying, then please write down two if you are just watching the video. Thank you, Richard, Jackie Brown. Thank you, Carmela. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Linda Whipper. Thank you, Ruhi, Tammy, Rising Star. Thank you, Rabjot, Prapreet. Awesome. So now let's start the next step. In the center, half centimeter circle, we are just going to draw a beautiful spiral carefully. spiral in the circle thanks Claudia Hargun after 
that in these second half centimeter we are just going to go out and little round and the big petal so I'm using micron 08 Keep rotating your paper and keep making these petal shapes. can use ball pen Arya Shri no problem just be careful that uh, you don't smudge it because it might take some extra time to dry up but uh, sure you can use it after that we are just going to go and make this double line you want you can use thinner tip pen in this I would love to use 08 and now we are just going to draw these planted lines in the corners maybe three or two in the middle Uh, so Gitika, yes, you can watch this video later if you're joining late and if you uh, begin from the very start. And now we'll start working our in our next layer. In this one, you see where this straight line is. So over the petal from the centers, we are going to draw this petal shape. So now I'm waiting for everybody. Hello Nisha, yes. Kiranamai, uh, I'm trying to be slow. Awesome Shruti. Hey Megan. 
nice to see you here thank you anvita <laughs> i think uh, tammy aj can reply you back about this Hi Megan. Oh, thank you World Facts. Thank you for supporting me. Nice to see you here, Chinky. And thanks again World Facts. And now let's continue with the second layer. So from in the second cent so this is the 1 cm circle second cm so in the third cm circle we'll find out the center just by an eye and then we'll join bottom two petals to this big petal Yes Megan I am using 6 inches paper After that we are going to join these two petals to the next circle If you want you can draw all this with the pencil first and then trace it with the pen After that we are going to repeat the same thing here center center so now we'll find out the center again and Hello mom good evening it's so nice to see you here mom after so many days you checked in
leafy layers <laughs> yes i have actually leafy layers because we are still repeating the same thing again and again in this one Keep rotating your paper up and down or sideways, whichever direction you feel like it's giving you perfect angle and now we are just left with the last uh, layer and after the last layer i'll wait for everybody to catch up and tell me that you guys are done again we are going to find out the center here and And here you go, this is the last one. Now, I'm waiting for everyone to catch up and tell me that you guys are done drawing the skeleton of this whole mandala which we are going to complete today which we are going to draw now and we are going to fill all these sections which we just drew uh, in the meantime nidhi can you talk a little bit about what your plans are for august uh, some new videos that you've been working on and for members yeah sure ajay so in august in our all mandala sessions are based on the seed of life and uh, one mandala will be something like this 3d style which i showed yesterday also we are going to use some spring and some different other pattern and this is the colored half version of it one mandala will be something like this they all are based on the seed of life this is the august mandala and um, for in the in all those sessions in my for the oak members and patreons i'm still working on other uh, mandalas or other uh, art for them and let's see how much time will it take and i'm working on one video for the tangles organizations about the and the categorizations and probably whenever i'm done with it I'm, i've started working on it so I'll upload it because I have a lot of requests for making a video on that. And a few days ago, uh, I took a volunteer session at uh, my son's robotics place. And Lind Linda Whipker is here and she helped me out. And with this art, we uh, worked on the Glowforge and we 
she helped me in the etching in the style and then I colored it at home so this is the same art I hope Linda you are watching this Linda Whipker so thank you for that so this is one piece of this art and we converted it and you did it on the tile we can use it as a coaster or we can use it as you know as a decoration and the same way this mandala and the video of this mandala is available for all the patreons and for the oak members this mandala we converted it into this wooden itching again on the glow food so that's how you can you know convert your art into different other styles and use them in different other ways Thanks, Linda. Nice to hear, Anvita. Get well soon. Okay, so now let's start working. So first we'll start working in our this um, petal, eight petals on the one to two centimeter tile, one to one to two centimeter circle. And we are just going to draw here. This kind of one, two, and it is a little wider from the corner, like this. Two curvy lines and these curvy lines are, are kind of wider from the corner and we are going to repeat the same thing I'm making that video the tangle categorization video in little doodle style so still I'm learning some techniques of making the video so I'm just focusing it well And yesterday also I got two three beautiful submissions of my book from my book this mandala world and with the watercolor brush pens and awesome uh, awesome work on Instagram I got it yesterday after that we are going to work in this next layer so before we start working on this next layer first we are going to make this double line here in the base the both side
and now we are just going to draw with this tiny petal in the center and then these two petals are joining to the corner and then here in the top let's complete one petal here in the top it's a tiny enclosed area like kind of the D shape and then circles and these absolutely straight lines here again if you want you can use thinner tip pen so first one small petal in the middle then two big petals touching to the corner a small circle shape on the top three humps and then join them with lots of parallel lines or the hatchings oh, I'm going so well. and now how did you transfer the mandala on the wood okay so uh, Linda so Ajay can you reply back about the glow force to Linda how we transferred it Yeah, so uh, we used a machine called as Glowforge. Uh, we don't have that machine. We uh, forge initiative. It's a local NGO. They're steam based, and uh, we went there. We uh, transferred the mandala that Nidhi used. It was scanned by the machine, and it was then etched by the machine itself uh, onto the wooden mandala. So it doesn't hand etched. It's etched by the machine. And the machine name is Glowforge, right? Yes. center petal, two big petals at the side, take your time, don't hurry up okay because we have lots of sections so don't mess up with the other sections. Yesterday's session was very nice and we uh, worked on this pattern and I got beautiful submission, Praprit did colored version and one other participant did colored version, beautiful and rest all are the classic kind of this black and white. This was awesome and fun drawing and the beautiful names you guys uh, did. Um, Linda is asking is this laser? So. Is it the laser cutting in that? Oh, Linda Whipkar is replying. Awesome. Thank you, Linda. I'm at the last petal.
Okay. Now, in this next section, we are going to let's use if you want you can draw a tiny line below it like this and we can fill this hole with the thick marker pen or with the same marker pen this Okay, am I way too fast? So I'm just using this pen and let's fill this all the way we drew this line. I'm using thick pen so that you know it will be quicker to fill inside otherwise it's a lot of time to fill. After drawing this line, then I'll wait for everyone, okay? So, I just filled it and I'm drawing a very tiny gap line like this. Just to, you know, to give it nice symmetry everywhere.
Okay, I'm waiting. Adishri, Arya, Tanvi. Please write down in the chat when you guys are done. We'll hear and we'll start the next step. Waiting for everyone, take your time. Thank you, Bindu. Awesome. Now, in the next section, we are again going to draw this double line like we did in our in our this first section and we are going to draw a lot of now if you want to make it more intricate you can use your thinner tip pen yes. with the thinner tip pen you are going to have like more space and you can draw more these lines We are going to repeat the same thing. In all eight petals. Stay focused. Draw slow. I'm done with this eight petals and now it's the time to work in the next layer now in the next layer we are going to draw find out the center of this whole diamond shape Diamond stylish petal and draw a tiny 
enclosed spiral of will have a round like this one and all the petals Just stay in the middle. It's okay. Little small, little big spiral. Now, on every spiral, we are going to draw here four petals. One, two, three, four. Now please look carefully. And after that four petals we are we keep growing these petals little bigger and bigger and we'll draw in on the top of each petal like We keep growing our flower in this diamond shape until we fill the whole space like this. Yes, like roses, perfect artistry. So first layer with the four petals and then keep growing the petals. In between two petals, keep the petal shape little wavyish. Please don't go out of this diamond shape, stay inside and fill the whole space. They all are not supposed to be same but they are similar because we are using the same kind of the stroke but they can be petals can be little big little small it's absolutely fine. In this way, keep try filling all these diamond petals with these beautiful rose style flowers. Keep repeating the same thing in all these eight petals first draw the spiral and then four wavy petals and then keep growing the petals and draw a little bigger size cover all the way these diamond shape
I can imagine whoever is going to use the color how uh, you can use this beautiful color in this pattern so we are done with this flower So there are the same uh, perks in the oak members as well as for the patreons and you can unlock all those intricate mandalas dot painting mandalas and uh, you know those kind of these are few like colored pencil artwork you can unlock the video of all these once you join either the oak mandala oak uh, <laughs> membership or the patreon they both have the same perks all these kind of and yesterday i got submission of this artwork this is watercolor this is watercolor plus acrylic and few other with the dot paintings with some stiplings and flower of life so and all that and a lot of other dot paintings one so you can unlock all those videos at once by joining all of them together either you can join the oak membership at the youtube or the patreon hello shashi now let's start to the next level so in this one please look carefully we are going to uh, first i would like you know to make this line little thick this whole line before i start the next level So I'm just reinforcing this line and making it a little bold before I start to this next step. So I'm just going over one more time. If you want, you can use little thick tip pen and you can do it. Okay, so oh, one line left. Now we are going to work in this top, in this second last section here. In this one, we are going to draw these fish scale kind of the pattern. We'll draw this hump. One. And we'll make the aura line double. And we are going to repeat the same thing here. And double aura line here. Double aura line. touching to the boundary just stop there
So this will be just the first layer and then we'll fill this whole diamond petal with the same style. Take your time and draw slow. That's how we are going to fill all these eight petals. I'm repeating the same thing seven more times. So if you want, you can see me again. If you miss any step, first this moon pie, then two or a line, then again this tiny bug. double line draw slow and try to keep all these you know double lines or the aura lines close to each other don't give them too much distance. Keep drawing. I'm repeating the same thing again and again but with full focus Fill these remaining corners, you know, don't leave them empty. Then we repeat the same pattern again and again so we know what to draw but still we have to be fully focused then we get that meditative effect and we get we feel that you know that achieve feeling of achievement and feeling of yes we did something and we achieved something once we are done drawing all these patterns
don't forget to fill these corner extra spaces which which are leaving on the edges of these petals and oh As always, I'll make a post on the Facebook once we are done with this mandala where you can share your work. On the Zen mandala, for the Zen mandala, I made the album on my Facebook. And I actually wanted that you guys can add your mandala to the album on your own, but somehow I could not set it up and it didn't work for me. So I added your mandalas on that and you can see all the mandalas together. Oh, good evening Rashmi, no problem. You can start now or you can do whenever you feel like. You see the recording is available and if you want you can start from the beginning right now and you can even chat with us while working. You can just enjoy watching. Maybe you can draw later. repeating the same thing so although this is a very traditional style of the mandala but still the pattern which we are drawing right now is also uh, also got a name and a called as a tangle it's a very basic beginning level tangle for the beginners and but this is a beautiful traditional pattern also in the mandala who is going to tell me the name of this tangle if you know what is the name of this tangle which we are drawing right now Ajay, can you please reply, Pratibha? So for joining the oak member i think when you go to my channel and youtube you will see one button that's called join over it right ajay yeah that's correct yeah so if you click on the join button you will see various tier levels so to get all the 
perks you can join the oak level but if you just want to support me so you can just join the tulip level so it's your choice and so the oak members and the patreons are having the same perks whichever platform you like you can join that two more how is it going for you guys who gave me the answer crescent moon crescent moon crescent moon yes perfect perfect Arya, Carmela, Sanvi, Shashi yes the tangle name is crescent moon A little variation style of that but yes the same tangle we call the crescent moon tangle the beginners tangle so generally when we do the zen tangle 101 class like the first class of the zen tangle so we use this tangle And this is kind of the very first angles of the Zentangle from the Zentangle headquarters. Okay, I'm at the last petal. Please let me know when you guys are done till here. Write down in the chat. Maybe some of you are done by now. Because I'm walking while drawing. Oh, not walking. I'm talking while drawing. <laughs> so, my speed is a little slow. Do not forget to fill the leftover areas, okay? And now we are working on the this last tron last petal and then we'll work on this outer part also. So in this last one, 
I'm starting the last one. We are going to draw this straight line in the center and the petal shape each side. This is the first step. And next step is to draw two lines, two curvy lines at each side. Oh, I can see there is a pole there. So please everyone look at the chat and click on the pole. The pole is about the difficulty level of the mandala. What do you think? It is easy, moderate and difficult. Just be, click on the button. So this is the second leaf and then we are going to draw the third leaf. So first we are going to draw all these three leaves in, I mean the five leaves, all these eight petals. You don't see poles, Linda? Really? I can see pole. How it is possible that you can't? That she can't see the pole. Why it must be happening, Ajay? Maybe just a glitch, I guess. Okay. Because I can see the pole here. Or is it something about top chat or the live chat thing? I, I wouldn't think so. It should, it's normally at the top of the chat, but it's not. if it's not visible, that's okay. You can just write in the chat. We have about 15 responses and 60% of the participants feel that it's very easy. 27% people say it's it's moderate and 12% people it's it's difficult for them. Okay. Thank you everyone who participated. Whenever I set up any design, my main focus is to make it beautiful. That's the first thing. And then second, uh, to achieve to that design, I try to, you know, divide the steps in easier way so that everyone feels like it's easy to draw. When you guys say easy, so thank you, Linda. Oh, I first made the line. After that, we are going to draw two more petals in between the center one. So we are going to draw the line straight and the petal shape, which is coming from the back, like this.
we'll draw two more petals in between which are kind of peeking from the back of this flower or this bunch of leaves Ma'am, will you be sending this mandala as result in WhatsApp group? Okay, Chinky, I'll send. Generally, I generally I always send, but sometimes I forget. But today, if you are asking it specifically, I will definitely send. You can use the same pen. And I'm just looking for some little thin tip pen now. And with this thin tip pen, I'm just drawing... these hatching lines just in the one side of the leaf and here I'm doing to the right side Thanks for becoming a member, Pratipa. Appreciate it. Thanks, Pratipa, for supporting me. Anvita, I am now repeating the same thing in all the eight sections. So, I am not drawing anything new. I am just drawing these uh, slanted hatching lines in the left side of the leaves, in the half of the flower from the left side and right side of the leaf in the right half of the flower. Just in the left we can use the same pen or if you want you can change the pen with little thinner tip pen I changed it little thinner tip now but the same pen will also work perfect stroke at a time I keep moving on the whole table when I you know <laughs> drawing I keep missing the spot in the camera 
so whoever uh, watched our uh, drew the Z mandala uh, and what do you find like the the speed of the video do you find it very fast or slow or that was okay to follow if you want to tell me anything about the Zen Mandala video, you can write down in the chat. Very, very fast, really. But you know, Ardashree, even like I tried to really make it. I don't really want to make a very long video still it was around more than 50 minutes like video around a e around an hour video you love doing it it was okay to follow thank you shruti because it is really hard to decide what speed should i keep of this video Very fast, really, Prapreet. Something it was fast, but sometimes slow. Okay. 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 Thank you for your feedback, everyone. If anyone else wants to give me feedback, because your feedback helps me, you know, to decide when I'm working on my next project or anything. So. Because when you are watching me drawing live, you are watching me drive li uh, drawing live in each and every petal. But when I'm like kind of making it in a video in the recording, so I feel like you are watching me drawing in one petal in the normal speed. Then let's just cut all the rest petals and reach to the last one. Because now you know the process, so you can follow along in all of the petals. So maybe you can pause the video at that time. That was in my mind. Okay, I'm at the last petal. And while watching the video you know you can change the speed also if you want you can uh, change the speed to the slower level I hope you know that you can do that in the live session but in the pre-recorded video you can change the speed Now we are at the last section, very last section. You are welcome, Tammy. I'm glad that you are enjoying and working along. I saw that you made the Zen mandala in the uh, classic version also, black and white. That was beautiful. Now, I'm working in this last section. So first, we'll just make this double line and this boundary we already have our guidelines intact
and now in that we are just going to draw the same the chevron style line as many as you can draw again if you want you can change the pen and use the thinner tip pen to make it more intricate and you know to draw more lines thank you mom thank you anvita just left two more sections and then we'll raise all the guidelines whichever is visible till and then the shading the drawing part is done and now I'm grabbing the eraser and raising all these extra lines. just slightly raise over it and now it's the time for the shading the shading I'm using my this Stedler pencil it has a 4B lead inside and I'm starting from the center I'm not going to shade anything in this spiral but around the spiral I'm laying down very light graphite and then around the petals also very lightly let me first blend it
this will be our center blending and then this next one we are just going to shade here very lightly near the line and above these petals Tomorrow is the Zentangle art session and we are going to work on a three and a half inch square tile and we are not going to make a mandala but a Zentangle tile. It will be absolutely abstract art. We are going to learn few new tangles and we are going to use few old tangles which we have used in our past sessions. Awesome. And now in this next section, in this mandala we have lots of sections, right? That's why in each section we are doing little separate uh, blending and shading so it will take a little extra time but it looks pretty and it makes our you know it makes our mandala complete this decoration is really important if you want you can add colors into it so who is going to add the colors write down in the chat tell me who is planning to add the colors in this And who is just going to keep it classic? All the paper or the materials which I'm using, they all the description or the their Amazon link is in the video description. In the video description, the Amazon links are the Amazon.com links, the US one. But if you want the India links, that is available in at my website also, as well as at, in the Hindi channel also. Now in this next one, in the flower one, we are going to lay down in all four sides like this.
for these sessions time sakes i really do the shading very quick but when i do or on my own like personal time then i really take a lot of time in these shading and i give a lot of time in these final finishings but in these sessions i really want to like stay in the time but already it's more than 11 so if you guys have any other engagement or appointment and if you want to leave you can leave and you can come back again to this video and watch the shading part later if you feel like or if you are free right now and you can continue with me and it's awesome when i'm talking about the material uh, it's reminding me again that uh, jyotsna asked me for something which i was uh, for the white charcoal pencil to see in india mm, sorry jyotsna i didn't see that and now you see where these top lines are just very tiny to give little three dish look The question from Tammy, uh, would pastel or charcoal work for color shading? Um, what is the question Ajay? Uh, would pastel or charcoal work for color shading? Yes Tammy, pastel or charcoal works really very well and uh, you know uh, it depends on your paper also that what color it takes better like the original uh, zentangle tiles they really take pastel colors very well like if you see in this one uh, i just worked this worked on this on the mountains just by waiting so i used the graphite and the blue pastel pencil blue pastel graphite and charcoal all together so they really work very well in those paper but on these Bristol is smooth, I would prefer to use the Prisma colors or the color pencils actually because they are the smooth finish. So I prefer those. But if your paper is little rough or you know some have some texture in it, so then the pastel pencil or the charcoal works really very well on the textured paper. So it depends on your paper, what kind of paper you are using. So in the petals, we need really need to fill that area and I'm sorry I forgot to fill that. So if you feel like you can leave it like this and actually I really want to fill that because the design of this whole mandala is 
like this lot of contrast I'm sorry that I didn't fill this earlier First draw around the lines and then fill inside. happens a lot of time when we like kind of you know started shading and then while shading we, we find that oh oops we left that area or we forgot to draw in that part beauty of this particular mandala is this contrast the high contrast Some mandalas take time to draw and complete. Although we always work in a six inch square, but still, sometimes it takes too much time to complete. This is the last filling mm -hmm. and I keep on moving my drawing place. Okay. And now <laughs> the shading. So where we did this line we are just going to do in the center near the lines that's it in these petals 
and then here we are just going to lay down a little bit in the center and the corners so let's lay down in all these two sections together in the leaves as well as in the corners and then we'll blend all them together This is the last step of the shading. Most of you find it easy, that's very nice. your pencil very sharp this is really important don't use blunt handed like the tip you can sharpen your pencil in between if you feel like And now it's the time for the shading. Just stay inside, don't go out. anywhere if you feel like if it's going out you can just erase it and fix it later where you, you don't want this pencil to go out so I'm shading it to both places We are done with this mandala and now it's the time for the signing the mandala. Oh, that's very nice, Chinky. I'm glad. I hope you are enjoying and what is today's date? Today, 31st July. And I hope you all enjoyed working with me this and you can write down in the any social media you can use it and use your tags nidhi prakash arts mandala drawing youtube live 
or your own hashtags but don't forget to tag me or don't forget to add me in your uh, post and I'm going to take a picture and make a post on the Facebook where you can add your artwork picture and you can share your share your artwork with me see you tomorrow thank you Linda thank you Prapreet thank you everyone for joining me see you tomorrow bye 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 and with